That's fun. Hello. So, as you can see, I mean, I'm gonna be tearing into that closet in just a minute here, and uh, you get to see all of it. So, in addition to the video that you're going to see, I wanted to show you the background of what was going on with the uh, with the closets beforehand. So, um, right here, right above my hand, since I I know how to edit now, right here above my hand, I'll I'll show you the um, the before pictures. Whoever built the closet before, they they put some ridiculous shelf all the way across that was only like an inch and a half above the uh the closet rod or the clothes hanging rod and then over time the shelf warped and then it was touching that whole rod almost all the way across and it was just completely unusable so we tore it all out i got pictures of what the closet looked like before and then we put everything or we uh we rebuilt the closets my father-in-law and i brad I think they turned out really, really well. Here is the unpainted version, and here is the painted and completed version. Uh, hope you enjoy it, and anyways, let me know what you think. Get this show on the road. I realize there's metal there. It's gonna take a minute. That's fun. Dirty, but I mean, that's fun. I, I could do that. I could do that all day. And this is the first thing I've ever taken out of a wall before, so this is fun to document. Okay, I punched a hole in a wall when I was 16, but that doesn't count. Let's test this out. You Needless to say, I don't know what I'm doing. Like the cool blue light.
So if I'm being a hundred percent honest, I really didn't do any research to see if this was the right thing to do. I, um, on a previous project, my wife and I, while we were redoing the bathroom and there were some holes in the wall from the previous owners of the house inside of there, then we bought this putty or this uh, drywall filler from Home Depot. And we had a bunch of extra because we bought way too much. Really, I went into this with no technique, really no knowledge if this was the right thing to do. Looking back, I probably could have cut off the top of this ledge here and I could have put a straight piece of drywall all across it rather than filling it in with this putty. But, you know, I, I'm i not upset with the way it comes out. I mean, I'm, I'm just looking at it now and I can see that it's drying in the corner, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's just kind of drying as I go along, which is what it's supposed to do. But really, this doesn't look professional by any means. And now having it done at once, then I know that there there are definitely better ways to do this. I mean, I I can't imagine being a professional and watching me do this right now. But I can imagine being a teacher and looking at this and thinking, oh, hey, good, a student is actually doing some work. I mean, it's not grade A work, but hey, it's a... It's, uh, C minus work, he's getting along, he's doing something. I definitely have the intention over time to do grade A work, and uh, that's definitely gonna happen. But for now, here I am. Also somehow, while I was transferring over the videos from my camera to the computer, I somehow managed to delete the footage of me sanding and scraping away the dried putty to get a pretty smooth finish. Amateur move. So let me show you what it turned out like. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video and supporting my channel. I really appreciate all you guys who made it all the way here to the end, and I just, I, I feel like I learned so much from making this video. I truly didn't know a thing about doing this at first other than to accommodate the bifold doors that we're putting into the closet, then I had to knock out that piece that was going across the top, and I'm so glad I got to film it. This is going to be so much fun for me to watch later. Hopefully it was fun for you guys to watch. And um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and uh, leave a comment down below and come back next week for the bifold doors being installed. All right, I'll see you later.